everybody. So, I have been asked a couple of times for a Kitchener Stitch tutorial. So I thought that's what I would do today. If you don't know what the Kitchener Stitch is, it's a way of joining two pieces of knitting together seamlessly. So you basically graft these two pieces of knitting together rather than casting off and joining both seams. It's very commonly used in socks and that's what's known as grafting the toe and that is using the Kitchener Stitch. It is a particular set of stitches which I've got written down here because I still do not know this off by heart. I've done this so many times and I do not know it off by heart. So I made these little pouches for the shop and they're just little notions pouches. Um, this is actually one that's for sale and these are in the shop. I do, this one is mine that I have, but as you can see, mine has got a mistake on it. These two are the wrong way around. So I thought I better not show that one. Um, that was my first one that I designed and I've mixed the, these two up there the wrong way around. So these are the ones that are in the shop. I'm gonna be doing the Kitchener Stitch in a contrast color, hopefully so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. So I do have one color on the back loop in this colour just because I needed to have one stitch there so I can pull it tight. So hopefully with me using a contrast colour you will see what I'm doing. Okay so when you've done your socks or whatever it is you're grafting together you want to make sure you've got a decent amount of tail. I always cut too much off that is way way more than enough. You can hear that creaking the winds blowing the doors upstairs. Um, but I do like to cut a decent amount of length of yarn off to Kitchener. Let me just go and close that door upstairs. Hang on. That's better. The creaking stopped. So you've just finished, say you've been knitting a sock. You've just done all of your sock. You've come right to the end and the pattern stays. The pattern says Kitchener, the two sides together. And you think, oh my God, what do I do here? So this is what you're going to do. You're going to cut your yarn and leave yourself a decent amount of tail. Like I say, that is too much, but I'm not going to run out. And then you go into thread your yarn. You can find the Kitchener Stitch online. If you just type in Kitchener Stitch knitting, it will come up. There's many, all I used to do before I got one of these, was just used to type Kitchener Stitch, Kitchener Stitch Knitting into Google, then click onto images and it will show you something like this. So you need to thread your yarn onto your needle and you need to get your stitches on your knitting needles like this. Not massively close to the edge, but quite close to the edge. And hold your needle so you can see both needles together. Okay, you've got your yarn threaded. So first we're going to do what is called the setup row. So when it says front purl on and then back knit on, you're going to use your needle and you're going to place it into the stitch either purl wise or knit wise. So for the front, which is your front needle, which is your needle closest to you, this is your back needle and this is your front needle. So the setup row says front purl on. So you've got your yarn threaded onto your needle and you're going to come to your very front stitch and you're going to pull the yarn through this stitch as if you were purling. So through that first stitch front to back. If you was knit if you was if you were going through knit wise you'd be going in back to front. But you're not going to come through the front of the stitch and out the back. That's all you're doing. You're going to pull the yarn through and that's it. It doesn't look like you've done anything but all you've done, the yarn was here and you've pulled it through this front stitch front purl wise. So you've taken it through the front of the stitch purl wise. The next part is back knit on. So we've left that stitch on because it that's front purl on, so we're leaving the stitch on 
And now we're going to do back, knit on, exactly the same thing. So you come to your back needle, that's what it means by back, and you're going to knit the stitch, take the yarn through that stitch, knit wise, and then you're going to leave it on. That's all you're going to do. And that is the setup complete. So now we're going to go into this repeat section. We're going to do front the front stitch first, and that is front knit off, front purl on. So that's what we're going to do first. So we're going to come to this front stitch again, put our needle through that first stitch on the needle, knit wise, front knit on. So it's going to go through knit wise. And at the same time, sorry, front knit off. So at the same time, we're going to pull that stitch off the needle. So we're going to go through the stitch knit wise and pull the stitch off the needle. Pull that yarn through. And then front purl on, which means we're going to go back through this front stitch purl wise, but leave the stitch on the needle. And that is your first one done. So now we move into the back, which is back purl off and then back knit on. So we're going to go to the back needle, we're going to put the stitch, the um, yarn through the stitch purl wise and take it off. So back purl off, pull the yarn through and then back knit on. Go back through that back, onto the back needle, first stitch. Put the yarn through the needle knit wise and we're going to leave it on. And that is it. So let's go back to the front. This is the bit we're repeating here. So we've done that once, we've done that once. Now we're going to go back here. Front knit off. So you put your needle into the front stitch knit wise and take it off. Front purl on your needle into your stitch, purl wise, and we're going to leave it on. Back needle, back, purl off. Put your needle into your stitch purl wise and take it off. Back knit on, into knit wise, into your stitch knit wise, and we are going to leave it on. And you're going to carry on doing that all the way across. So front, knit off, front, purl on. Back, purl off, back, knit on. And as you go, you'll find you get a little bit quicker. And you can see this is what it's creating, this little stitch here. There we go, you can see that. Front knit off. Front purl on. And as you get quicker, what I do with the back needle is I do back purl off and then take it straight through to knit on before I pull the yarn. Front knit off, front purl on, back purl off, back knit on. Front knit off, front purl on, back purl off, back knit on. It is easier to repeat it like a mantra as you're going through. Front knit off. Front purl on, back 
pearl off back knit on the yarn does like to wrap around whatever you're grafting together don't worry about that can you see how that is grafted together front knit off front pearl on back pearl off and back knit on front knit off front pearl on back pearl off and knit on front pearl off no, front knit off sorry front pearl on back pearl off and back knit on let me just go across the end and I'll meet you back at the end to show you what to do with the last stitch Sorry. right so when you get to the point I'm at now which is your last two stitches you're just going to do exactly what you've been doing all the way through front knit off you can drop that front needle back pearl off and you can drop that needle give that a good tug what I like to do at this point here is straight away a good tug and just take the needle anywhere into here through the middle of a stitch wherever you want to go put the needle straight in pull it through and I will weave that straight in just so it's not getting loose I'll just do that really really quickly here Obviously, you would weave it a lot better than that, just to stop it getting loose. <clears throat> and then, trim your tail. Preferably with sharper scissors than what I'm using there. And that's it, it's done. Obviously, yours would not look messy like this. I've used a contrast yarn. <laughs> but you wouldn't have used a contrast yarn, you would have used the same yarn, so you wouldn't see any of that. But as you can see, it's completely grafted together. There's no holes whatsoever, it's completely grafted together. And that is all there is to the Kitchener Stitch.